Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gota. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to read student structure and display its values. So the objective of the program is the uh, is written in the first statement with the help of comment. Then I have included a header file stdr.h for printf and scanf. Then uh, I have declared a structure whose name is student. So name of stu uh, structure is student and it contains uh, three members. First is row number, uh, integer type, then name, character array, then marks, which is of float type. So uh, as you all know, that structure contains elements of different data types. That's why uh, this user defined data type is declared here. After that, main function is defined in which various uh, instructions are uh, available. First is structure variable declaration. So struct student is data type. And this s variable uh, is the variable of structure data type. So all the values will be available inside this structure variable s. Then printf function is used. It will display enter name, row number, and marks of a student message on console. Then with the help of get s and scanf statement, uh, name and row number or marks will be read by the user. So get s will read name. Uh, why get is because uh, name is uh, in string form then uh, scanf uh, first scanf will read row number which is of integer type and second scanf will read marks which is of float data type after this reading operation this printf statement will print a message uh, student details are on console then uh, this printf statement will print row number on console then uh, name and then marks will be printed with the help of uh, printf statement. So you have to notice that we have used s uh, as a structure variable and after dot we are using members of the structure. So s dot name means we are accessing name, s dot roll number means we are accessing roll number and s dot marks means we are accessing marks of student structure. So now I am compiling this code. So there are no errors and warnings in the program. Now I am executing this code. So it is asking for name, roll number and marks. So I am entering first of all name, then roll number and then marks. So you can see that uh, it is showing student details are roll number 101, name Sanjay and marks 200.00. So the output is correct. The uh, details which I entered, it is displaying the same values. So friends, uh, if you want to store different type of elements under a single variable, then you can do this operation with the help of structure. So these are my information. You can call me or you can write any email regarding any difficult topic. I will help you out. This is my website. You can download my uh, Android app that is TechMS from Google Play Store. You can download PPTs from tutorials.techmis.in uh, link. You can read various books related to programming languages. You can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel for uh, learning uh, various programming languages through videos. Thank you for watching this video.